All right, so um, for the purpose of the interview, can you just say your name and title? Uh, yeah, my name is Lloyd Davis. I don't know if I have a title at all. I uh, No. No? What, well, what do you do? I'm a, well, I'm a kind of social media tart. I do what you do. Ah, <laughs> but minus the short skirt. Uh, usually, yeah, most <laughs> of the time. So apart from um, strip clubs, yeah. can you tell us, summarise what was going on here today? Well, we were talking about how you get how you get people to engage with policy and how you get um, how you make policy better by spreading the knowledge around uh, apart from civil servants and I think um, what I came away with it with was a, a kind of feeling that government really should do less it should be doing much much less in this in, in any area at all and that we're in a position in I don't know, it sounds, it sounds too grandiose to say that we're in a, a point in history where, you know, of, of huge change, but, but in lots of ways we are. And so the question is, should government be rushing to do lots of things to try and fix things, uh, and in the process trying to drag everybody into their conversations, dysfunctional conversations about how they fix stuff that shouldn't be fixed, or should they just let people work out what it is that they are passionate about and campaign and support them in doing good stuff. I mean, social media, in, in a way, it's very, uh, it's empowered citizens. Mm -hmm. Do you think the government are worrying that they're losing out on this power and they haven't got any foot in the door, as it were? I don't care. No? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure, they, um, I'm sure that they do, except I think, I, I believe that a large part of government has a very twisted idea of how the world works. They've decided that the world the world is full of people who hate them for irrational reasons and are hysterical and whipped up by the media. And that I can see how that how that's come about. I can see that some people hold that as a valid point of view, but I don't share it. Okay. And uh, Obama, um, he obviously had one of the biggest online campaigns ever, I think the biggest online campaign ever. Do you think the uh, British government needs to take a leaf out of his book? Well, I think, it's a, I think there's, a, there's a big gap between the things we were talking about today and the political process. I think the political process, in my view, is likely to go through the same sort of meltdown that, that the, the financial system seems to have gone through recently simply because people are able to organise themselves without spending huge amounts of money, without forming big corporations or big organisational groups. They can just do it quickly and easily and cheaply, and therefore they will, because government can't act quickly enough and, and politics can't catch up with it quickly enough either. Brilliant, Lloyd. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No Thank you. <laughs>